Tonight, New York state lawmakers are proposing legislation that could put them behind bars for a long time. CBS 2's Diana Rocco has more. Teased and tormented for years, 15-year-old Jamie Isaacs felt there was no way out. I had the, a group of girls break into my locker 14 days in a row and damage all my personal belongings. She was forced to change schools after the girls started following her around daily and sending her nasty messages. To get people to listen and to understand what your child is going through is sometimes nearly impossible. And uh, we found that it was treated as if uh, it was no big deal. Today, New York state lawmakers have said enough in legislation prompted by the death of a 14-year-old Buffalo student last week. The student committed suicide after relentless torment from high school bullies online about his sexuality. State Senator Jeff Klein calls it bully side. He's proposing the penalties increase to second degree manslaughter, a felony punishable by up to 15 years in prison. Uh, there may be some who say uh, that this is too tough, uh, that uh, we're prosecuting minors. We're prosecuting young people. Uh, well, I say that's nonsense. And under the law, just the act of cyberbullying someone under 21 would be third degree stalking. The National Crime Prevention Council reports that nearly one out of every two teens nationwide is somehow affected by cyberbullying. And when dealing with lesbian, gay, and transgender youth, well, that number is even higher. One kid is enough. It's not right that someone has to have their life taken away because of something that someone else said about them. A message she hopes other teens hear. Diana Rocco, CBS 2 News. Recent cyberbullying statistics reveal that of the top five worst bullying states in the nation, New York ranks number two on the list, second to California.